Today, this is my new server. I want to go out and say thank you very much to Rich at Two Guys Tech. Um, how this all started was I've always wanted a one of these, but the older version. I didn't know this was out because I couldn't find it. Uh, two node super micro server. So there's a node here and there's a node here. I searched on YouTube for quiet server. I found the version of this that had the DDR3 and it only supported the Xeon V2 and V1 CPUs. And then I came across two guys tech video. I probably watched that video about 15 times and then I messaged Rich and he's been awesome. I asked him so many questions before I bought this. So I clicked the link in his description on his video and bought the chassis. This right here. Then I took his advice in the video he's got also for the CPUs and RAM. I'm going to be upgrading the RAM just like Rich has, he's going to do too. Um, and I'm going to be doing that later. But I basically built my box the same as him. And before I bought it, I reached out to him and said, how loud is this box? And he said it was quiet. I have a home and it's quiet, but I've made it even quieter. I'll show you that in the video. So in here, we have two Xeon, or we have four Xeon E5, uh, what are they, 2680 V4s, two per node. And we also have 128 gigs of RAM, one, 64 per node. And it's actually a nice box. I'm gonna make it so it's got two 128 gigs in each note, but that's later on. I gotta get some, there's another product right here I'm gonna show you. Uh, I need to get some drives, but before, so this right here will get me going. I've already loaded ESXi 7 on here and I'm very happy with the box. So what I wanna show you guys is one node powering up and then another the node powering up. And I'm gonna show you the noise difference and uh, I'm gonna show you how much power it pulls. And then after that, uh, we'll sh I'll show you some more information, maybe about this box right here, after. So I'm gonna remove the camera, I'll show you how everything's connected on here, then we'll turn it on and I'll show you here. We got node one, node two. I have a basic switch, a fiber cable going to my lab in the other room, and two power supplies in the middle. Very nice little setup, but there's a trick inside here that I did. Inside, we have two Noctua LNA adapters. That's what Rich called them. Low noise adapters that make the fans quieter. On this side, for node two, there isn't any. So, let's power it on. I'll show you what with and without looks like. I'm going to put the monitor up here so we can see it powering up and booting. Yes, I have IPMI connected and set up already. I just don't have my laptop here right now. So. This side is node one. Move this here and we'll power it up. There's a little power button on the front here, sorry. When it boots up, just like how it is, it's a little bit quiet and then it'll ramp up and then it'll be quiet again, but watch this. So this is the side that's got the uh, little noise adapters connected. This is connected to my uh, lab network right now. So it's got internet and I can access it from my laptop and all that stuff. Okay, now it's going to boot ESXi. Just so you guys know, there's a SATA DOM on each of these that I have in here. So 32 gig super micro SATA DOM in each. I'll show you that in a minute. Basically, I wanted to show you how quiet these are with these mods. You hear the fans wrapping up a little? 
right? Then it goes quiet. That's as loud as it gets. And I'm in a room just talking normally, right? That's how loud it gets. We'll wait for this to boot. Give it a couple seconds. Okay, so I got my laptop. We can see that ESXi 7 is booted. Let's log into it and turn it off. And then we'll try the other um, node. Um, what was, what's the IP address of this one? 192.168.8.197. We got the ESXi, we can see that right here. We have it booted, okay? And let's just go shut down. Turn it off. There she goes, and it's off. You can see how quiet it is. I'll stop talking, you can see how quiet it is in here. Okay, let's turn on my laptop, and push it to here. We'll change the VGA cable to node two over here. And then we'll turn on node two by reaching over here. It's quiet when it starts up, but when it's actually running, it's a little bit louder. As you can tell, maybe, maybe not, it's a lot louder of a unit without those fan um, pieces in there, the uh, low noise adapters. Um, I'll put a link to below in the video here to where you can buy those. And I'm also going to link the video to building this server from um, Two Guys Tech Riches. I didn't want to steal any of their video for build process because they did such a wicked job that I didn't want to steal that. So that I was going to save and uh, not do that for you guys. If you want to watch that part of the, uh, that video and how good it is, I'll put it down below or link to it below. So as you can tell, it's much louder of a box without those modules in there. move my laptop. I'll show you what it looks like inside the modules now, or inside the, the nodes. So we'll take off over here two of the cables. I'll move my fiber cable out of the way so I don't wreck it. Power. Here's what it looks like inside the nodes. We got CPU one, CPU two. We got a SATA DOM right here. You guys can see that. Hopefully, yeah, it's sitting right there. 32 gig super micro SATA DOM. And I'm planning on putting some 10 gig network cards in here. I just haven't done it yet. So that's basically what the node looks like. It's just a motherboard with a uh, expansion riser slot on it, and they slide in. Plug this all back in. Here, I'll move the camera since this is here. We'll plug in all the cables here, right? Simple. One. Two. and we'll fire it up. Okay, so it's booting right now. We'll put the video card cable back on here so we can see it boot. 
There we can see our CPU specs of the box and stuff. It's fully, almost fully booted. Okay. Fully booted. Okay. Both nodes are running, as we can tell on the front. Right? And the power draw on this, let's see over here, down on the floor we have a watt meter. Right now it is pulling 280 watts. Keeps bouncing because it's probably doing something there, but you can tell after it settles down in about five minutes, it'll be a little bit less. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Ooh, didn't like that. 221 mot watts. Part two I want to show you guys is this. <clears throat> kind of heavy because it's got drives in it now it's a dado box it's a 1u dado with the 16 core xeon d in it with 16 gigs of ram i threw in some cheap drives just to play with it and bring it online and do some stuff with it but this is actually a nice little box so i'm gonna turn it around on the back we have ipmi over here for it and two 10 gig NICs. I thought there were one gig NICs when I got it. Did a little bit more reading the manual and stuff of like that because I found the, uh, had to zoom in on the picture before I got it, what the uh, model was, but it's got two gig, two 10 gig, 10 base T NICs on board. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a 10 gig SFP card in here or not, but that's for later. But I'll show you what it looks like inside now. Switch is in the way and I forgot to bring the other box. Here we go. We have our Xeon D in there. Two 8 gig sticks of DDR4. A riser slot so we can put um, a 10 gig NIC in there. And what really got me going on this was, you see this slot right here? There's an M.2 um, SSD slot on there. Not just one, but there's two. See that? That's pretty sweet. So my idea is going to be, I'm going to stick uh, underneath the front here. There's room for two um, SSDs. Right now, there's only one in there. It's a 120 gig SSD. But when you get them from the factory, there's two of them in here, and they're mirrored. So the OS lives on those, and your drives in the front here. And it's hard to do when you're holding a camera. Just got some cheap drives in there, right? Western Digital 500s. These will be where all your storage is. So I'm going to probably put a, another drive in there. Right now it's running true NAS and it's working. I'll show you guys that. Uh, I'm going to put two one terabyte M.2s in there. I'm not gonna, sure if I'm going to use it for storage or, or not, you know, for storage or for caching. But inside I might put another one terabyte in here and use that for SSD cache for the drive so it's a little bit faster. But yeah, as you can tell, if you want, there's the motherboard model, if you guys care to look it up. Xeon D. Now this box is not quiet, and I've got some cheaper um, fan silencers in there. They don't work as well, so the box is a little bit loud, but it works. As this is booting, I'll give you guys some specs on the motherboard that's built into here. So, it's an Xeon D1541 processor. Uh, where's the specs on this? It is, well, they don't show you the specs of the actual CPU. It's an eight core with 16 threads and it's turbo boosts up to 2.7 gigahertz and it's 45 watts. It'll take a 128 gigs of DDR4 maximum. And it's even got a raid card a vago raid card built on board i've just got it all passing through right now it's not actually set up so it's just working and uh yeah you'll see here in a second it's an old data box as we can tell it's been repurposed and uh, let's see here interface for the ilo is a one gig network card the uh, it uses an RTL 8211E for the management and the, let's see here, 
it uses the Intel X540 network cards for the 10 gig um, NIC. That's pretty sweet. That's a pretty good network card. So this box really isn't that old. Somebody, I guess, didn't want to buy it and use it anymore, or didn't want to buy it. Somebody didn't want to use it anymore in their data center, so that's why I got it for cheap. And I got it from um, a company in Alberta, or Calgary, Calgary Computer Wholesale for uh, a couple hundred bucks. There we go, 194. HTTPS, 192.168.8.194. One nine four. There we go. And there she is. She's booted and working. I haven't set anything up on here. I just basically got the OS running. Uh, we can see the drives are here. So if we go storage, disks. I created one pool just for playing around, but it's got four or it's got three 500 gig hard drives, and I didn't realize I put in a 232 because so I just grabbed anything that was blue in my pile and put it in. So I made a mistake with that, but I don't care. I'm just playing with stuff right now. So this is going to be my lab setup, not lab, but this is going to be my final setup in a couple weeks. Here, this is what I'm going to be moving to. I have a yeah, camera's gonna fall. Yes, I'm in the kid's toy room right now because I didn't want to turn this on in my room. Uh, this is going to be replacing my, this setup is going to be replacing my ST550 Lenovo downstairs in the garage. Because I've always wanted a high availability dual node setup. So that's why I got this. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going with ESXi or if I'm going to do Hyper-V. I want to try both of them. So for now, I'm going to leave it at that and I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, special thanks to Rich. Uh, I can't say how much enough. Uh, appreciate how much you've helped me out. So two guys tech, I'll put a guy's link down to that in my YouTube video here for you guys to go look at their channel. They have a Discord channel. Um, you guys can find that in their link description. I'm not sure if they want me to put that in there because it could bring unwanted traffic, maybe. But uh, thank you very much. You guys have a great night. Rich, thank you very much. You have a great day, guys.